Hey guys, 7 WB Rocks here. Yesterday I made my Ring of Honor Super Card of Honor predictions video. Go check that out if you haven't or just want to hear my thoughts on the event. I said that I'd make the WrestleMania predictions video today, thinking today was Friday, because I usually do my pay-per-view predictions on Friday. So I was thinking maybe I should hold back, but I already said it, so let's go let's follow through with it. And it's just it's WrestleMania time. I am so excited. Yes, the product's not as good as it's been in, you know, quite some time quite some time but still I it's wrestling it's you know one of my favorite times of the year it was supposed to be the best uh you know pay-per-view of the year it's supposed to be so exciting see new stars and you know all that great stuff and it just it, it's so exciting you know I'm a WWE fan at heart not at heart you know I've always been a WWE fan as soon as I became a wrestling fan so let's get into the predictions but before I get into it actually side note can you guys believe it's just I was thinking about it and it just kind of blew my mind Daniel Bryan last year went from main eventing WrestleMania, went from beating Triple H, Batista, Randy Orton, all in the same night to win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now he's in the IC ladder match. Now, I'm not taking anything away from that. I mean, that's awesome. Intercontinental Championship ladder match, that's awesome. But it just seems like he got thrown with six other tal really talented people just because they didn't have any feuds. So it's crazy to see the guy main eventing being on just a ladder match with six other guys. Roman Reigns, now this is weird, the guy, the big guy this year went from being in a match with the Shield, the three-man or six-man match, when it was the Shield versus the New Age Outlaws and Kane, lasted maybe two minutes, uh, yeah, two-minute match, so I think that's crazy, now he's main eventing WrestleMania with the uh, reigning defending champ, Brock Lesnar, and I think that's crazy to think, let me know what you guys think about that, I think that's really weird, but let's get into it, WrestleMania 31 predictions, pre-show, Kate and Cesaro defending the tag team titles versus New Day, Los Matadores, and the Usos. Now, they did this last year, a four-team uh, four tag team title match. So, uh, you know, I'm not expecting the greatest match, but I'm just going to say Kid Cesaro retaining. I don't see New Day, even though WWE still seems like they're trying to push them for some reason, trying to get us to like them. We don't. Uh, I don't see New Day winning it. Don't see Usos, and Los Matadores are kind of just there. So I'm going to go with Cesaro and Kid. Next, the IC Intercontinental title ladder match. Bad News Barrett, the reigning defending champ, versus Ziggler, versus Stardust, versus Brian, versus Ambrose, versus R-Truth, versus Luke Harper. Now, I'm really sad they didn't do Gold Dust versus Stardust this year. I don't know what happened with that crappy finish at Fastlane. They just randomly were like, no, nah, let's pull the plug on it. And uh, maybe Sheamus is, makes it an even eight. Maybe he joins the fray or uh, returns the following night on Raw. I don't know. I feel like Sheamus has, was going to have something to do with the ending to this match or something. Daniel Bryan, I'm going to go with him winning the Intercontinental Championship. I'd love Ziggler to win it. I'd really love Ambrose to win it, but I'm going to go with Daniel Bryan on this one. Next match, AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bellas. Um, I really don't care. I think this should have been a fatal four-way for the title. Uh, I'm just going to go with AJ Lee and Paige. The Bellas start feuding. They start fighting with each other. It leads to a four-way at Extreme Rules. And, uh, yeah, that's uh, AJ and Paige. Next, Orton versus Rollins. This match, along with a lot of others, could go either way, really. It really could go either way. I, I would think Orton would put over Rollins just because, you know, Orton's a veteran, put over the future. But it just seems like how the feud's been going. It seems like Orton should get the win to end it. Like, he got beat down. The authority's always in his way. Jamie Noble and Mercury, they're always there. I feel like Randy Orton should get this win. So this is probably a really bold pick. I should go with Rollins just like I should have gone with him for Money in the Bank when he won it. I thought that was too safe of a pick, so I didn't go with Rollins. Probably should go with Rollins again, but I'm going to go with Orton to win. I think it should be the end to the feud. And he still has Money in the Bank briefcase, so if he loses, not the biggest deal. Andre the Giant Battle Royal. I'm excited to see whoever the NXT guy is in it. I'm excited just to see some hopefully cool spots, but uh, just make it short and not waste your time too much in the video. I'm going to say quick. I'm going to go with Miz Dow. It just seems like he's the perfect guy. Throw over the Miz to win it. I just, I honestly do not see any other guy, like, see why they would win. I think Miz Dow has the most to gain from this. I'm going to go with Miz Dow. Throwing over the Miz. That'd be awesome. Rusev versus Cena for the U.S. title. America, Cena. He's burying Rusev at WrestleMania. He's not burying him, but he's going to beat him, I think. Cena's going to win the United States Championship. Moving on, Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. This match, I would really like Bray Wyatt to win, seeing he didn't win against Cena at Mania. 
I just feel like Undertaker is going to get the win. He's going to maybe maybe WrestleMania or the following night on a Raw say, you know what, I'm calling it a quits. I'm done. Sting comes out and uh, says you're not done yet. Maybe. That's what a lot of people have been saying. So I'm going to go with Undertaker on this one, but I'd be really happy if Bray Wyatt won too. Triple H versus Sting. Honestly, this seems like this is this should be the main event for WrestleMania. Um, I want to say I want to say you know Sting's the obvious choice, but it just seems like he Triple H has literally not like done anything bad to him. He's got a few hits on him at Fastlane, but Sting came out on top in the end. So it just seems like Triple H is coming in this match looking like you've gotten just destroyed by Sting the past month. You haven't gotten anything over him, so it seems like you know they do that. The WWE's booking where they make the other guy look bad and then he wins at Mania. But still, just screw what I what I just said the past 20 seconds. Going with Sting. He's a freaking icon. The main event, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. I know a lot of people for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. You know, everybody's thinking, you know, since Lesnar re-signed, there's a much bigger chance that he's going to retain, which is, yeah, definitely could happen. But you know what? I think they're going to continue with their plan, continue that WWE way. Roman Reigns is going to get the win. So I see him walking out as WWE Champion. I don't know if I should make the prediction. I would like to see Seth Rollins cash in to end WrestleMania. That'd be crazy. But I'm going to have Roman Reigns walking out as WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And uh, Seth holding on to that briefcase for maybe the following night or a little later. Thank you for watching so much. I really do appreciate it. Let me know your predictions in the comments section below. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Follow me on Twitter, at 7 Rocks. Man, we are three days away from WrestleMania. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, have a nice day.